Sparkling white beaches and gorgeous weather are synonymous with Cancun, Mexico. And now you can add golf courses. Honoured among the best of the best by the Rob Report in 2006, the Iberostar Playa Paraiso golf course is considered one of the top challenges in Mexico today. Well known for its undulating fairways, the Playa Paraiso is the creation of well-known designer P.B. Dye, son to legendary designer Pete Dye. The course is turning heads as a spectacle both for intimidation and rewarding shot making. With a host of big name designers being lured into the popular Cancun corner, it's refreshing to see signs of design excellence paired with true attention to detail. Dai purportedly spent so much time on course, many expected him to apply for Mexican citizenship, all in the chase for golfing perfection. I think we achieved more than even what PB was looking for. The course is just absolutely fabulous. It has tremendous vertical movement, which is very unique for golf courses in this area. Yucatan Peninsula is relatively flat, and out from a flat piece of land, we were able to produce a golf course that is uh, very vertical up and down. And the shot-changing contours evident throughout the design are just as important as the impressive setting. The course is entirely in the jungle. Uh, one of the things that PB did is he made the golf course look visually tighter than it actually is. So he was able to accomplish that design masterpiece. It's factors such as these that are a perfect complement to the growing interest in golf in the Cancun region. We're finally a golf destination. We think things here look very, very good for us. Most of our tourism comes from the United States and Canada. We have seen a, a real boom in the local market. Five years ago, we had maybe 100 people that played golf in the area. Now we have upwards of uh, three to 400. We've started some associations, some golf clubs, and they play on a weekly basis. So the golf growth here locally has is, is really increased. Dye's design is kind enough to let you build some confidence early on. The Ibero Star Pyramid, just one of a number of course distractions. We take up the challenge now at the ninth. Well, hole number nine is something you're not going to see anywhere. Uh, you tee off right in front of a 200-yard long rock riverbed, which you have to cross before you get to a fairway that is extremely uphill, which you need to carry the ball about 260 yards into the wind to get to the top of the hill. Otherwise, you're going to have a blind shot to the green of about 200 yards with a long iron. It's really a wonderful closing hole for the front nine. We'll skip ahead to 12 and discover a par three that is all about length. Uh, hole number 12 is probably our toughest par three from the back tees. Uh, measures just about 200 yards. With a back left pin placement, it's about 210 and it's crossing wind. The pin is going to be in a position that is pretty much uh, almost inaccessible. Wonderful, wonderful challenging golf hole. Rather than representing hazardous minefields, bunkers are strategically placed. But beware of the danger ahead. 15 looks like a docile par 4, uh, 400 and some yards. It is always predominantly into the wind. The trick on hole number 15 is that the green is really a false right side. So anything hit on the right side of the green is going to funnel down into a deep bunker that's about uh, 12 feet below the surface of the green. Overall, the feel is certainly of a resort-style challenge. Weekend warriors can rest easy. The challenge should prove enjoyable for all skill levels but 18 will still test most players for par. Well, you bring it home on 18, uh, it really brings out what mounding is all about, and, and PB is, has put some huge mounds on number 18. All the right-hand bunkers on the right side are extremely steep. The last one is about 18 feet deep. You have to get out sideways in order to get the ball back into play. The green is about 2,500 square feet, it's just a postage stamp. Again, with a false right side and a small false front. So, really, he likes to give it to you at the end. With the abundant wildlife and unique scenery, a round at Playa Paraiso will challenge and reward. It's a recipe that's proving a mighty success. This is just really, really different. The extreme vertical movement. Uh, we were fortunate enough to get one of the few pieces of properties here in the peninsula that had some... Uh, vertical movement to the natural terrain and then we got the right designer who loves to use that uh, vertical movement to enhance the, uh, the topography of the course. Our service here is wonderful. We truly enjoy the golf course.